All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have another animated short for Hawkeye Star Rail. This one's for Fei Xiao. It's called Taking It Easy. Seems a little bit more laid back compared to what Fireflies was, which kind of disappoints me a little bit. I was looking forward to something meaty like Fireflies lore trail. I get Firefly was a massive character, right, in the, in the uh, you know universe of Honkai Star Rail, especially for us, the players. But I was expecting to get the same thing for Fei especially after seeing her Myriad Celestia trailer and seeing, you know, how kind of messed up her past was. She was a slave. Her mom was a slave. She's probably half Borison, half Foxian, which means that a uh, Borison kind of, you know, took advantage of her mom and, as a slave. And, you know, that's how she with Fei was born. And that's probably how she has the Moon Rage curse, something to do with the blood lines mixing or something like that. That's my theory. But... It doesn't seem like it, that's any of that. It seems more laid back. So we're just going to enjoy it. It's, it seems it's like it's going to be a chill trailer, you know. Uh, but there's only going to be Japanese reaction because as you guys do know, it seems like either the voice actor was fired or the voice actor quit. Uh, they kind of completely disappeared from all of their social media and their husband or partner or whatever uh, said, oh, she's fine. She's sitting here playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth with me, guys. Stop. You know, it, we're fine. Don't worry about it. So it seems like it's part of the whole strike thing with the AI stuff that Hoyaverse is trying to do AI voices with uh, voice actors stuff. And I think this is part of the strike. And she's just like, I'm good. I'm not going to work for this company. And they haven't found an English voice actor to replace her yet. So curious what that's going to mean for the story in 2.5. I don't know if she already voiced the stuff for 2.5 or <laughs> if, if this is going to be Japanese for Fei <laughs> and then everyone else is in English if you're playing the game in English. So regardless, we're not going to be able to react to the English version, just the Japanese version. But I am excited to watch this because I love the animated shorts. They, they do such a good job with the animation and they are, they never disappoint. And I'm very excited to know more about Fei Shower, even if it's even in a more lighthearted sense. But before we continue with today's reaction, a word from today's sponsor. This video is brought to you by Manscaped.com. Have you embraced baldness like me, but you're sick and tired of buying razors and all that shaving cream? If so, I got the product for you. Introducing the Dome Shaver Pro Head Shaver and the Dome Soother Head Aftershave Lotion. This little beast comes with five premium rotary blades optimized specifically for head shaving. These blades are designed to give you the cleanest, smoothest shave possible. One of the standout features of the shaver is Manscaped Skin Safe technology. This means you can shave confidently, knowing you're less likely to experience nicks and cuts. The Dome Shaver Pro is also fully waterproof, so you can use it wet or dry. Take it into the shower for a quick and convenient shave and clean up is a breeze. Manscaped also introduced Flex Adjust technology with this shaver. This helps each blade stay in close contact with your head, adapting to the unique contours of your scalp for a more precise and comfortable shave. The rechargeable battery offers up to 90 minutes of runtime, so you can get multiple shaves in before needing to recharge. Plus, it's compatible with both USB Type-C and wireless charging. One of my favorite features is the magnetic blade head this makes cleaning and replacing the blades incredibly easy just pop the head off rinse it underwater and snap it back on simple and hassle free now let's move on to the perfect companion for the dome shaver pro the dome soother this lotion is dermatologist tested and is formulated specifically for the scalp it's infused with soothing ingredients like aloe goto cola and colloidal oats to calm and nourish your skin after shaving Plus, it has a fresh green and light wood scent that's subtle and refreshing. What's perfect about the Dome Soother is it's alcohol-free, so if you have sensitive skin like me, this is perfect for your scalp. If you're ready to elevate your head grooming game, then head over to manscaped.com and get your Dome Shaver Pro and Dome Soother today. Use promo code LEGIONS to get 20% off your order and free international shipping. Trust me, your scalp will thank you. All right, here we go. Alarm clock. Oh, is it two different colors? Oh, one for Jingyuan, one for Feisha. Wait, is this how they get their routine in the morning? Oh, look at the cat for uh, Jingyuan. <laughs> oh my god, Feisha, okay. Damn, Jingyuan lazy as hell. Oh, that plushie's cute, what the heck? Bruh, she's already ready to go. This just goes to show you that she's the better general. She's working out already, bro is watering plants. She's definitely the stronger one. A meeting? Still early? He's getting ready for the meeting, though. He's going to get to the meeting early. Ooh, she's having some protein. She's eating healthy. He is not. 
damn, she downed that shit, bro. Hey, yo. She in the shower? Bro. Is she gonna arrive late? Is he bringing bento boxes for everybody? Oh my god. Oh my. Listen, I'm getting vibes from that one anime with the fox girl, which had Kiana's voice actor. And that is the vibes I'm getting from. Oh my sweet mother of God. Okay. Don't forget. I love her Japanese voice actor. Damn, she got dressed fast. E Yo, I love the animation for her. It looks so good. Can we get one fight scene, bro, with an the animation? Oh, that would be so good, please. Ooh, the music. Oh, look who it is. You have to go so hard. Bro, she goes hard all the time. She's got 10 minutes to get there. Damn, look at that. She's freaking flying, dude. Oh my god, yo, the animation for this is so good. Damn, she's zooming, bro. She's trying to get there on time. But this is also kind of like, god damn, she went supersonic. Holy, she's like faster than speed of light, bro. What the fuck? Oh, the kites. Is it because of the festival? Oh, you messed up, bro. Oh, good. We're getting one fight scene. She's like, yes, I got this. She's running over the kites? In heels. Got it. Damn, that pose goes hard. That angle goes hard. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> this is awesome, dude. This animation is so good. Oh, you're so dead. Oh my god. Is she late? Oh, she's late. <laughs> she's late. She's eating dumplings. <laughs> she's so cute. Look at her ears, look at her ears wiggling. What'd she do? Bruh. Did she yeet him and then run here first? And then he just got there? She's so cute, bro. Oh my god, I love her. Dude, that smile, bro, people would go to war for this woman. <laughs> like, bro, she is so beautiful. Oh my God, I love her. Not really much to unpack with that trailer, right? For that animated short. I'm a little disappointed. Not gonna lie. It, it was very wholesome and cute, right? I, I loved it. But man, I, I just, I wanted something like Fireflies, right? Fireflies was like a seven minute animated short and it had so much lore to it like oh my god like bro look this was a six minute trailer this was a six minute trailer with a crazy amount of lore and you would have thought from what we saw of Feishao's childhood like literally right here where she's running from her captors as a slave of the Borsid I was hoping to get some kind of crazy thing about her past, about her escaping or something, you know? Like, child facial. I wanted to know more about her. And I know a lot of you might say, oh, but we still have her actual trailer. Usually the actual trailer is also kind of lighthearted and it just showcases her moves a little bit and her moveset, the ultimate animation. And that's pretty much, you know, about it. It's not really like a lore thing, right? The trailers usually don't show much lore. Even Akron's, which was a huge character, fate of like Firefly and Akron's, both of their trailers did not really show much. It was just showcasing their animations, their old animation and their kit a little bit. And that was pretty much it. Regardless, I really liked this trailer. It was very lighthearted. It was very cute, very wholesome. Uh, it made me love this side of Fei Xiao as well. Like she is super cute, the little pout that she has. Uh, like how energetic she is in the morning. She's a, she's a go-getter. She gets up. She has a healthy breakfast, works out, cleans her room, goes fast, showers, and on her way back to work. And even on the way to work, stops some crime, saves some kid's ice cream, and uh, stops, like, 
some uh, furniture from being destroyed. Like she is, she is badass. I love her. I cannot wait to pull her. I am going to be doing a giveaway for her on my channel. So if you guys are interested on trying to win, if you don't have enough saved up for her, but you do want to pull her, I will be doing a giveaway or two uh, on my channel, on my Twitch channel, as soon as she goes live. Actually, scrap that. I'm going to be working a double next week on that day. I'm going to be working doubles all week next week. I will be doing it whenever I come home from that shift. So it won't be as soon as the banner drops. It'll be pretty late at night, but I'll talk about it on my Twitter. So follow me on Twitter if you have and join my Discord. I'll talk about it on there. Follow me on Twitch. All the links are down below. Uh, I will be doing a giveaway for at least maybe one or two uh, facials to random winners. So good luck if you guys do enter. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, I want you to let me know what your favorite part about this trailer was. And uh, if you were as like kind of disappointed as I was, I, I was hoping for a little bit more, man. I can't be the only one, right? Anyway, if you guys want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you guys enjoyed this reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the next video.